fight police had to break up on Thursday near Hoover and Seven Mile in Detroit. Police say teens, most of the time gang members, are going on Facebook and setting up fights in the city like this one. They then post the fights online and use social media to show their gang affiliation. This nonsense you talking to victims are not appearing. Action News spoke to one mom who says she was just trying to take her young children home from a nearby school when one of those fights broke out. You wouldn't want your kids seeing anything like that or have to walk back and forth through the mayhem and you gotta worry about your kids being involved in it or even seeing anything like that. These kids have an awful lot of challenges. The neighborhood that we live in, the 48205, is a very high crime area. Police were out in full force outside Osborne High School yesterday because they feared another fight would happen. You know, they got to realize that there's more to Detroit than just their neighborhood, just their block. I really want to get away from all the arguing and, um, like, weapons and stuff like that. But I'm not in the streets, but... It's just that I don't like the dangers and stuff because I really want to be playing basketball with my friends, but really I can't do that because my mama is very worried that something's going to happen. My name is Mr. Finley. I teach math at Osborne Evergreen, and I'm excited today that these 9th and 10th graders are getting ready to get an opportunity to view the world from a different perspective. Technology. I want to be a music producer when I grow up. Like, music is my passion. Like, I love music. I listen to it every waking day of the moment. And I want to be a football player yeah, or engineer. I want to be a professional barber when I grow up. I was thinking about becoming a lawyer. I want to be a science professor at MSU. The college I wanted to go to was Stanford. Florida State University. I either want to go in computer, to, computer and design or culinary arts. Or engineer. My name is Silas Moore. I'm in ninth grade and I go to Osborne Evergreen Academy. My name is Anton Brown. I'm in the ninth grade. My name is Sean Grimes. My name is Jaleel Skiffer. I'm in ninth grade. My name is Darren Watson. I'm 15. My name is Mac Will Turner. And I'm 15 years old and I go to Osborne Evergreen. These kids come to school every single day. They want to change. They want to see a change in their neighborhood. They want to see a better future for themselves. They are willing to work hard. They're willing to, to give the extra and go the extra mile if they need to. I learned calculus like around eighth grade and stuff. So I'm, I should, I'm on my stuff in ninth grade. Well, math, because that's my favorite subject, really. That's yeah, I love, I love algebra because our algebra teacher is very right. Like he always give us homework every day. He don't never let us down. He uh, motivates me even when I'm doing bad. He, he, he sit down and talk to me with my parents. He don't never like down me about something. He also like make sure I'm focused because he want to see me succeed in life. We just came out with this machine right here. The other nice thing is the other flexible materials. And, uh, Why is it so um, heavy? We removed the, the real pine cone by burning it out. Uh, I learned a whole bunch of stuff today. I learned a lot of stuff. I had a good time. He's got 20-some uh, additive manufacturing machines in his facility. All he does is build parts. It's using a 3D printer. All the stuff here I did see was amazing. Like, half the stuff I think was real. I thought it was all fake. 3D printer, who would, who would think could make something like that? Only somebody that got a real intelligence. So, when I get older, I'm trying to live my legacy like how they did. I learned about, like, 3D sculptures, anything you think about, they can make it. The one that most intrigued me was the, uh, they make plastic and then they mold the metal together. What stood out to me was that uh, when he was talking about the mask, and it's like you're really in it. Yeah, we put it on and we was walking, you're like, we really walking. This is a wonderful experience. I am so happy that you invited us to participate in this. This is great for my students. And it's been a learning experience for me because I did not realize how much they knew about technology. People are breaking boundaries in science and uh, the imagination every day. All these ideas and sculptures and everything, that they all came from a, a human mind. This is very helpful because uh, people in my community don't get this opportunity to go out and, um, and come to events like this. So it basically gave me uh, another option on what I want to do in life. I think I can do that. Yeah. I learned a lot of stuff, but I think I know. I got some new goals in my life I want to do.
These students attended the Rapid Big M Conference held by the Society of the Manufacturing Engineers. I am so excited as the president of Uplift Inc. to be able to attend this talent tour with them and to see them enlighten and open to new and emerging technology. But I am more excited to see them resetting their goals and looking for new things in the invention, science, technology, engineering, art, and mathematics industry. We want you to join us as we continually build these talent tours, become a donor, become a volunteer, and assist us as we put together a permanent location where these talent tours will be scheduled and moving every day, always, in order to open students' minds.